My oxy has always worked so great for my pain. Then I started needing more to make it go away. Ativan helps my anxiety, and Percocet helps my pain. I take them both. People told me if I liked morphine, I would love fentanyl. They were right. I've been sober for three years, but this back problem is painful, and my doctor suggested opioid treatment. These are voices of people at high risk to overdose on opioids. Too many Americans die every day after taking too many of these medications or drugs. The most important thing we can all do is to arm ourselves with knowledge. If you know the situations that make a person more likely to die by overdose, you can be part of the answer. You can save someone's life. First, the person at the highest risk for overdose suffer from opioid use disorder, a serious medical condition. They are dependent on their pain medicine or on an illegal drug like heroin, which means they need more to get the same effect, and they feel withdrawal symptoms when they cut down or stop using. One especially risky time for people with opioid use disorder happens when they experience a change in their tolerance. If people haven't used for a while, and if they take their old amount, it's more than their bodies can handle. This can be fatal. Second. Combining opioids with alcohol or any medication that slows down your heart and breathing is extremely risky. Some of the medication that puts people at the highest risk of opioid overdose if taken together are benzodiazepines or benzos, which have names like Ativan, Valium, Klonopin, and Xanax, and can be prescribed for anxiety, panic, or sleep. Other high-risk medication when combined with opioids include the hypnotic Ambien, and the pain medication, gabapentin. It is extremely dangerous to combine any of these substances with opioids. People who do are among the most likely to die from overdose. Third, people who are prescribed high doses of opioids by their doctors for pain are at high risk. Another risky time is when there is a change in type or dose of your medication. Different types of opioids can have very specific effects and may be dangerous if someone is not used to the new medication. People using opioid treatment for pain should check in with their providers on a regular basis about any specific changes or reaction to the medication. Fourth, those who inject their opioids are at higher risk to overdose. This is true whether the opioid is prescribed by a provider or if it is obtained in another way. Finally, people who have overdosed in the past are at higher risk to have it happen again. Also, people using opioids on their own or without a medical provider monitoring their treatment are at a greater risk for over-medication or overdose. We can all be part of the answer to this national problem. Know the conditions that put people at greater risk of accidental overdose of opioids. If you know someone who fits any of these categories, say something. Let him or her know you are concerned and want to check in with them. You may save that person's life.